it's 9 p.m. in RTD, it's time to English New Edition for tonight's headlines. We have three courses uh, of uh, study at the University of Djibouti received their accreditation. For the international scene, uh, the fight against terrorism was uh, at the heart of the debate at the uh, United Nations. Welcome to our newsroom. President Gele expresses his best wishes uh, to King Salman on the occasions of the National Day of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Margele, wishes uh, health and success uh, to the King of uh, the Kingdom of uh, Saudi Arabia and the custodian of the two holy places, uh, His Majesty Salman. Uh, Bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, in a congratulatory telegram, the head of states wishes uh, were also extended uh, to the brotherly people of the Kingdom of uh, Saudi Arabia, to whom uh, President Gelli wished uh, more well being, prosperity, and fulfillment. Uh, the anniversary of uh, the bank holidays is a good opportunity uh, uh, for all citizens of the brotherly Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to celebrate uh, in a splendor and gr big. Uh, the continuous progress recorded uh, by their country, wrote the head of state in the message sent to the custodian of the two holy places. Uh, in the same uh, message, uh, President Gilly uh, said, uh, as a regional uh, economic power, uh, the brotherly Saudi, Saudi Kingdom is uh, enhancing its uh, merit uh, through its uh, positive leadership in favor of peace, stability, and brotherhood of the peoples uh, in this part of the world. A similar message was also sent to the Crown Prince uh, of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz. Yesterday, on the eve of the start of the academic year, the Faculty of Engineering of the University of Djibouti hosted an important event with the aim of uh, recognizing the quality of teaching and diploma recognized at the international level. The Minister of Higher Education, Dr. Nabil Mohammed Ahmed, handed over the accreditation licenses of uh, three training courses, namely Civil Engineering, BBA, Bachelor of Business Administration, and the Accounting License uh, in the presence of the Secretary General of the Minister of uh, Higher Education, uh, Mr. Abu Bakr Hassan, of the President of the University, Dr. Jama and the professors of the deans of the university, the teachers, researchers, and the guests of Mark come from uh, the foreign universities. Uh, the awarding of uh, three accreditation courses was uh, a long and difficult process and came with intense efforts uh, provided at uh, different uh, levels, including at the beginning by Dr. Medina and Chantal of the university, followed by the evaluations phase uh, by the eminent in international professors uh, and the HCRC RS, uh, under the leadership of the Minister of Higher Education, the deans uh, Dr. Asha, Dr. Mustafa and Dr. Ramadan were congratulated on the occasions of the handing over of accreditations uh, to three training courses uh, by the HCRS. Uh, the awarding of accreditation to three training courses of the University of Djibouti is a first for a French-speaking university and is also a, a guarantee of uh, quality teachings and recognitions of diploma at the international level. The creation of the University of Djibouti is uh, the realization of the vision of the President of the Republic, uh, Ismail Omar Gele, who always accompanies its development to ensure a quality training to our students. The University of Djibouti is the first university to reach these uh, standards of quality of higher education. This process of accreditation will continue every year for three training courses of University of Djibouti. For his part, uh, the Minister of Higher Education, Dr. Nabil Mohammed Ahmed, uh, while uh, wishing a good start uh, to the new academic year, thanked the President of the Republic for his uh, support uh, for the quality of education and training. He asked uh, the deans of the university to give him a hand in the preparations of the new academic year. He asked also uh, the professor deans uh, to be in the spread of evaluation 
to continue and complete uh, the accreditation process. Uh, the awarding of accreditation to three training courses of the University of Djibouti is a first for a French-speaking university and is also a guarantee of quality teachings and recognition of diploma at the international level. In an interview, the Minister of Higher Education, Dr. Nabil Mohammed Ahmed, has indicated that ASA in the Republic of Djibouti, uh, and which makes the pride of us all, you, the, the recognition is, uh, is done by the quality of its teachings. We have accepted and we, uh, we have as asked uh, to be evaluated by the High Councils of Teaching Researches, a French council that uh, evaluates all French universities with a level of transparency to highlight the quality. So the evaluations of the university was very positive uh, with, uh, with of uh, course, uh, some weaknesses. Uh, and we are working on these weaknesses. Uh, but uh, the main thing is to ensure the teaching that we give to our students is teaching, but also recognize it internationally. A uh, humanitarian medical mission of King Salman NGO for Relief and Humanitarian Actions has just completed a three-day stay in the Republic of Djibouti from uh, 19 to 21 September 2021, organized in collaboration with the Cardiology Department of Balbala Hospital. This mission is included a dozen of uh, Saudi doctors who performed about 60 consultations for children from 0 to 50 years uh, with the heart defect called the congenital heart disease. Uh, they were welcomed on their arrivals at the hospital in Balbala, now as Sheikho, by the Director General Mr. Musa Ibrahim Suge and the head of the cardiology department, Dr. Muhyiddin Ahmed Umar. Let us recall that uh, this Saudi uh, NGO has already stayed in Djibouti, in the Republic of Djibouti in December 2021 for interventionists uh, and it's, uh, it maintains fruitful partnership uh, with the hospital of Balbala said Sheikho in the context of the fight against heart disease in children but also in the strengthening of uh, the capacity of Djiboutian medical teams. In addition, this uh, NGO had already ca carried out similar medical and surgical missions in other areas, particularly in operation on children with urology malformation. Since the beginning of the year, the Djibouti Road Agency has started to carry out the annual maintenance program uh, of the urban road networks. This vast rehabilitation program provided for the maintenance of the main roads used by public transport. Uh, to date, several priority sections have already been repaired, such as uh, the place Pika 12, uh, the road leading the, to the University of Palbala, the intersection FMP. Uh, Engela checkpoint, the Shahul Mada Avenue, and the traffic circles of Engela. Other renovations work are currently underway on the road of uh, to Gele Batal. It is planned to repair the Nuga Pre City Saudi Road, and several other roads must uh, use it uh, by road users, such as the road patients in front of uh, Dal Hanan, Cité Progrès, Carton, and the road in front of the Mosque Marcaz during the next semester. A team of RTD went this morning on the lane Poudrier uh, for neighborhood 7 is to see closely the work being done by ADR in addition to the team of the directions of work in charge of this work. This visit saw the participation of the prefect and the president of the commune of Pulaus as well as his collaborators who noted the repairs work is in progress. Finally, the drivers of buses and cabs using the, this area said they were pleased with the repair works because uh, the traffic remains more fluid and the congestion is caused by path hall have uh, decreased significantly. On his side, the president of the commune of Pulaus, Mr. Abdul Qadir Iman, said uh, in his speech that uh, we are at the opening of the end of the works on the central uh, road of uh, the District 7. So we thank the Djiboutian Road Agency, we, which uh, does not spare its efforts and is always at the services of the population. They are th there since uh, we are there and long before we have paved uh, and developed the different traffic lanes and major uh, arteries of the city of uh, Djibouti so that uh, the citizens uh, can move freely.
The United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, in collaboration with ONAHSA and with the financial support of the European Union, organized an information and awareness workshop on the legal framework for the protections and inclusion of refugees and asylum seekers in the Republic of Djibouti. This uh, workshop, which took place on Wednesday, 21 September 2022, at the headquarters of the Regional Council of Dekhil, brought together 23 elements of law enforcement security forces, namely the National Police, Gendarmerie, and Army. According to the UNHCR operation officers, uh, Mr. Sanktam uh, uh, Nanjik Kuman, Julia, this workshop aims to inform participants uh, on the legal framework for the protection of refugees in the Republic of Djibouti, strengthening their protection environment through the dissemination of international and national legal instruments governing the status of refugees and asylum seekers, strengthening the peaceful cohabitation between refugees and host communities to inform sensitize the participants to the rights and obligations of refugees as are provided uh, for by the law 159 en 167l on the status of refugee in the Republic of Djibouti to strengthen the inclusion of refugee and asylum seekers in the national system as defined by the SAM law and its uh, two implementing decrees. In uh, opening uh, the meeting, the, 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 the prefect uh, it's, uh, said that for, by, by its uh, geographical position, uh, the region is of Dekhil is the main entry point for refugee asylum seekers who uh, carried out uh, the UNHCR uh, officers uh, said that uh, the main entry point for refugees and asylum seekers uh, whose care is a uh, challenge for the region, he urged the participants not only to share their experience, uh, but also the difficulties uh, they often face in the care of refugees and asylum seekers. Uh, the participant expressed uh, uh, their satisfaction with the information received during this workshop, as well as the topic discussed, indicating that they are better informed and equipped to deal effectively with the cases of refugee and asylum seekers uh, in accordance uh, with the national and international legal instrument in force in the Republic of Djibouti. In the meeting room of the Regional Council of Tajora hosted a large scale meeting on the fight against drugs. Indeed, uh, under the aegis of the Regional Council, the CDC of Tajora launched the campaign against drugs. The event saw several personalities, namely the Prefect of the Regions, uh, Hassan Dabla Ahmed, the President of the Regional Council, Omar Hussein Omar, the Chief Doctors of the medical center officials of the law enforcement agency, the concentrated services, head of schools, head of neighborhoods, women, the elders associations, and influential. All gathered to find a sustainable solution to eradicate these scourges that seems to be gained ground. The meeting was opened by the Deputy Director, Mr. Mohammed Ali Ibrahim, who recalled the purpose of the meeting and presented the programs of the day. Uh, the Prefect of the Regions and the President of the Regional Council officially opened the meeting to launch the campaign against drugs, which will mark a fierce fight that will be led by the civil society of Tajura City. In their intervention, uh, in his intervention, the prefect of the region, Mr. Hassan Dabla, spoke uh, about the situation while uh, emphasizing the importance of eradicating these scourges. Uh, this uh, includes, among other things, the creations of commissions uh, and sub-commissions that will work hand in hand with local authorities and law enforcement agencies. Several activities are planned, including meetings in the neighborhoods, religious conferences, awareness workshops in the school, and projections of the on the harm of uh, drugs sketch. Yesterday evening uh, at around 7 p.m. a fatal accident occurred on the Djibouti uh, Tajara Road uh, car f uh, in the directions of Tajara with two people uh, on board has done uh, a rollover uh, on the road at the levels of the places called Tafare at the exit of the turn of the La Casal, on passenger, one passenger died on the spot uh, and another was uh, injured. The medical centers of Tajara dispatched uh, 
and ambulances which evacuated the victims to the health centers of the region as first. The medical centers of Tajura dispatched an ambulance which evacuated the victims to the health centers in the region as first and then the Coast Guard provided a speedboat uh, to evacuate uh, the victims, including one injured person from Tajura to Djibouti after 10 p.m. from the port of and the uh, smear took over to evacuate the injured uh, to hospital in the face uh, of this uh, new fatal accident on, on the road uh, to Tajora, which took uh, the life of a young man. We advise uh, road users to be cautious uh, and vigilant on all roads in the north, so south and the capital. And for the international scene, South Africa, African Aerospace and Defense Exposition returns. Listen to Kasrali. South Africa will be the host of the 2027 FIFA Women's World Cup with the aim of bringing the event to the continent for the first time. South Africa was the first and so far the only country on the continent to host the Women's World Cup that it was in 2018. In July, South Africa became African champion for the first time. It had beaten Morocco in the final of the Africa Cup of Nations for Women in the report. Almost two years ago, the Netherlands, Belangen, and Germany launched the Michuan PD for the 2027 competition. This PD will be one of the main rivals to the South African proposal. Africa and South America remain the only property continent that have never hosted a women's World Cup. The fight against terrorism was at the heart of the debate at the United Nations. Listen to this report. Antonio Guterres opened 77 United Nations General Assembly on Tuesday with a bleak picture of growing peril on war by lies and power leads to address it. The international community is not ready or willing to address the great dramatic challenge of our time, Guterres said. The Secretary General listed a long list of disasters that are hitting the world. The war in Ukraine, the climate crisis, the economic emergency that is overwhelming the development world, and the spread of nationalism and extremism to name a few, but the reality is that we live in a world where the logic of cooperation and dialogue is the only way forward. Kator argued, no single power or group can make the decision. No major global challenge can be solved by a coalition of the willing. We need a global coalition. The General Assembly President in this spirit recalled that the General Assembly will hold a high-level meeting this Wednesday, September 21, marking the third anniversary of the Declaration on the right of person belonging to a national or ethnic, religious, and ling linguistic minorities. This is it for the news. Thanks for watching us. Have a good evening.